something to be aware of when you guys are out there looking for reference for these takedown animations is when you have a, a um, you find like a reel like this, which is more of like a combat choreography thing. These two people are not trying to hurt each other, right? So the difference is, is if I had a bunch of like UFC videos, those people are definitely trying to hurt each other. Like that's the goal <laughs> of MMA. But here the goal is to come up with a really cool and interesting move. So because of that, the timing and the spacing changes are not what I would consider like a uh, combo, or sorry, takedown appropriate. So like if you look at this move in particular, this guy is coming up here with a knife. If there's one thing you'll notice, these two guys are focusing on those poses to make them work. But the timing of this bit here at the end feels like if you were to track his hips all the way down to the floor where they end up landing, you'd get a lot of this. This would be the spacing chart for how he falls. There's a lot. And the curve equivalent in Maya would look like this where there's just a lot of transition outwards, it should be all heading downwards, and then there's a lot of transition inwards, right? Your classic ease out, ease in. Tangents are going out, tangents are coming in, and you're getting this kind of feeling of settling. If I were gonna animate this takedown, I would have the spacing look like this. From hips at the top peak of this arc to the peak to, to the ground right there, probably have one up here, maybe two. Drastic change drastic change, right? The goal being like a little bit of ease on the way out, obviously, because if you imagine his hips as a ball bouncing, that's the peak of the arc where he's up here, right? So you're gonna get all these drawings of the ball at the top before things start stretching on their way down, before they go into a squash, right? So same thing here, I would want an ease out, but there's nothing stopping him from landing at the ground, right? That's gravity pulling you down to earth. So I want that, to feel like it's got a really steep peak to it so that it's going to bounce afterwards rather than go all the way down and settle into it. 